Hey guys, Tactics Thief here. Welcome today to this next episode of my trading from Founder K to a million coins. And we left last episode on somewhere around 790k, and we're going to spend that on 19 players. We've got 235k left, and we spent it on 19 players, mainly gold in farms, a couple of silver farms, and a bronze rare player. But we started off with this centre attacking with Drexler, who is a young, ta young style of a player at the moment. I suppose his future is quite bright. A uh, centre back, centre attacking mid Drexler, and I picked up 14k, and I did expect his price to rise because he was in the team of the week. And I'm going to try and sell him for somewhere around 16k. I just forgot to see the final price. Next player is this Felipe Luis from Atletico Madrid. Picked up for 32k. I'm going to try and sell him for somewhere around 35 to 37k, somewhere around there. And he's quite a good player, so I think he could sell quite quickly. Next player is right back Conco. Picked him up a few episodes, gonna pick him up again in this episode. Picked him up for 22k. Gonna try and make a couple of k on him. And a 4 for 1 formation, which does match his position, so which is always good and not always a, an advantage at selling these players. Next player is his centre, centre back Matip, with some really good stats 74 pace for a centre back, which is really good. And trying to make 3k on him. Again, another centre back Matip from Schalke. Picked up a couple of Schalke players in this episode. And I did pick this Matip up for 13k, gonna try and sell him for 16k. So two Matips there. Next place is centre forward Jacko from Manchester City. In his um, not normal position, I don't know how to say it, but he's normally in a strike position, so I picked him up in a ch I pick him I picked him up really cheap in the centre forward position. He just go for around 27k, so I'm gonna try and make 3k on him. Next place is centre back Ivan Lamis. I'm not sure if it's the upgraded in form, I'm not completely sure. I think it could be his first in form this one, I'm not completely sure, but I'm going to try and make 6k on him. Not too bad considering I'm only selling for 22k. Sorry, my voice went a bit weird then. Next place is centre forward Drexler, who I did pick up for 15k. He does go for somewhere around 20k. His price does vary in this position, but I think I could sell him for that overnight. And as you can see, I'm listing all these players up for 12 hours overnight. So, just because they can sell much quicker. Well, not much quicker, but there's not as many farms on the market, so they're more likely to sell. And the, the that happy boo there, I think I do pick up two happy boos later. And those happy boos, I think I do have to relist them a couple of times, just because silver farms, they're not as popular, so they won't sell as quickly. And I think I do have to relist them so many times, I have to lower the price so many times as well. That goalkeeper widening fella trying to make 3k on him, I think I do pick him up later again. <coughs> This Foster from West Brom trying to make 4k on him. And once again we have a Yaska line. I think I've had a Yaska line in pretty much every episode. And I just make so much profit on this guy. And I pick him up by 165k. I'm going to try and sell for 210k, 215k. I think I do have to relist them because there's quite a bit more Yaska liners on the market this week when I was selling him. So I don't get what I wanted but I still do make really good profit on him. Next one is another Habibu, striker Habibu from the Pro League. Really good stats on him. He's the second in form. And really good stats on him. Overall stats anyway. Gonna try and sell for 60k because someone is price fixing him. I didn't say that earlier, but someone is price fixing him for that. So gonna try and sell for that, but we don't have to relist him, as I said earlier. And it's Corona. He doesn't sell in the end for that price. And you will see what happens to him in the end. I think I do make a loss on him somehow, but obviously because I picked him up for 1,900 coins, it's not going to be a massive loss. And I pick up this widen fella in the 352 information, just go for slightly more. And I'm going to try and sell for 30k, pick him up for 25. Next place is Felipe Luis in a 433 formation this time, so he's going to go for slightly more. Sorry about the name, we got in a bit of the way the price, but I'm going to try and sell him for around 4k more. This Conco in a full back formation again, 21.5k, going to try and sell for 27 like the other one, I think. And that's what we do end up trying to sell him for. But I do pick him up, I did pick him up in a cup. I think it was the first episode I picked him up for, picked him up in, and he was going for around 70k back then. So you can just see the rise in price once the players come off Team of the Week. And once there's less players on the market, the price does rise. So that's how Team of the Week investing works. Because the players' prices rise. And you do see that in the market within farms. If there's been one in farm just been released of that player, then that price will rise constantly and constantly until maybe a second in farm comes out of that player. And that price will stay still at that price or probably decrease after that. 
But you see here, we're going to try and make at least 60k with this because of that Yaskalainen and, and all the other players because we did make really good profits on all these other players. And we get back into the trades and we got 862k, made 70k profit, nearly reaching that million coins. Maybe the next two episodes we can reach it. Just going through the places, Conco with 27.5k, Matty for 15.5. And his price did rise in the end because he was just coming out the team of the week when I got when I picked up these Matip, so he did rise about 4k. These Jekos made about 4k. Drax the 3k. I think that's a centre forward one. Just can't see because of um, the green border around the players. These Habit Boots had to list them. Also that Lampard. I did not show you me picking him up, but he was on a cheap buy now, so I just decided to pick him up anyway. But I did pick him up for 78k, and I did sell him for 90k. I didn't really see any reason that I just couldn't tell you when I was selling the players, so I can just tell you there. But it wasn't extremely cheap by now, and I just decided to buy it because there was trade, because there was profit in sight. So why not try, why not buy a player if there's profit for him? And also this Corona I had to list him up for 150 coins because he just wasn't selling, and I thought he'd have gone for slightly more than 300 coins just because of his 80 pace, but he did not go for that in the end. But only made around one and a half k loss on him. Somewhere around that, so it wasn't too bad in the end. Just listen, going through these plays, this Conco 27.5. Foster had to be listed him, I think, a couple of times at lowest price, I'm not completely sure. That Jekko had to lower his, lower his price, but for this episode, I did make 70k. Hopefully, the next episode or the next two episodes we can reach a million coins, and I will try and get the next episode, episode out in the next week. It'll just take a while to um, sell the plays, but thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.